Right, I've cleaned it all up. I've given it a good wash with petrol, clean petrol, and left don't leave, left not a trace of uh, grinding paste in it. I don't know whether you can see. I've got a nice blue line around them now. Right, somewhere there anyway. I'll put a couple of stills in. Right, that's the head, all cleaned out, all nice and clean. So we'll go about putting the valves to it. Oh. Right, here's me valves. <coughs> Inlets, exhausts, exhausts are the smaller ones. We have a spring bottom and a spring top and a pair of collets the collets are tapered and so is the hole in there so they'll hold, they'll hold themselves in um, I've had these called uh, keepers or valve retainers but I've, we, uh, I, I've always called them collets and they clip into that groove with the thick end upwards it's easier to show you here than it is to uh, <laughs> show you when I put them in the head and then when it's all together hang on where's my top there's the top I have to push this down to about there and then you drop a collet in one side and a collet in the other side and then when you let the spring off it springs up and it can't come off after that hopefully and usually you dunk on the top of the hammer to seat them so we'll see if it works in practice so we've got a spring bottom these are shaped so they hold the spring and they also hold the spring in the middle and that fits over the guide uh, here's an old spring and that's me new that's a new spring now they're an inch and a half long or they should be <laughs> and the old ones are about oh my junk because you can virtually see them they're a good eighth, they're eighth of an inch shorter. Yeah, see that? Really short. And the smaller one in the centre. They're the same. It's a big difference. So I, I won't bother measuring, but they're certainly not an inch and a half. The new ones are an inch and a half. I'm doing this exhaust valve first, so I'll just a bit of grease. That's the bottom. I'll put a bit of grease on there. Oop, a dot of oil. Springs on. So. Spring compressor. I don't know whether you can see this. 
I usually put plenty of grease on the collets. Little pricker, work one in. And the, then the other. It's in there somewhere. Make sure they're right in. Oh, good. I'm going to do the next one at another angle. Right. You have to bear with us a little bit here, because the camera's making it dead awkward. Bit of grease in there. Bit of oil down the guide. Maybe a bit too much. Bit of oil on the valve. on the stem. Ooh, maybe a bit too much oil. Inner spring, outer spring and the top. A bit of grease again. pair of collets, bit of grease on them and then see if I can get in with a compressor again I'm walking all over the place here. Yeah. Get stuff I want it. This one. If I can turn that round, I can put the other uh, one in the other space. In the way. I think that's one in. And the other one on the top should drop in. Hold the background rail again. I think, I think that should be in. Another one. Right. Hello to all my viewers. Nice one. And all my friends and subscribers. Right, I've got my two exhaust valves in. In my donk. That's them in. Put the two inlets in. And then that head's ready to go on. Thanks for watching. Hey, would you believe it? It's starting to snow. Oh well, soon be spring. Ta-da, all!